Hey folks, um, so there's a, uh, supposedly the final trailer is now out for Venom The Last Dance. I have a soft spot for the last couple of Venom movies. I enjoyed them quite a bit. I don't necessarily think they're good, but I have fun with them. And so I am interested to check this out. I think I've seen one of the earlier trailers. My my memory of it is kind of hazy. I'm going to try and do a little bit of a different approach to the reaction uh, thing rather than do it the way I normally do it, which is to watch the full thing and then tell you my thoughts after. I'll probably pause as we go. Um, I'm trying this for a couple of reasons. One, just to see if people like it. I have done it on occasion a few other times, but also to see if maybe breaking up this trailer, not having it run continuously all the way through might get Sony off my ass. Um, Sony is a little inconsistent on whether or not they claim stuff, um, but they're not great. Uh, they're not as bad as some. Warner Brothers has gotten really bad lately. But anyways, I'm trying what I can. Let's see. Eddie. Woo. I'm with you to the end. Yeah, got to have that mini trailer before the trailer. So important. This is your captain speaking. If you look out to your left, you'll see a beautiful view of the Grand Canyon. <laughs> okay, right off the bat. This is the exact level of absurdity I am here for. This is what I want. We're off to a good start. <laughs> Whoa! That's big. All right, cool. So, like, they have made other symbiotes the villains in all the movies so far. So the least they could do is get, you know, more than just, you know, somebody bulked out, you know, humanoid. Going more monstrous like this? Good call. Good call. Also, I like that he winked. I think he was hoping that it was going to be one of the monster effers that uh, thirst over Venom on the internet, which I, I, I know nothing about. That's a fun song choice. I'm liking that. And it's probably going to get grabbed by freaking YouTube. It's a good song choice, though. I do like that. We're not going to like this. No, I can absolutely guarantee you I'm not going to. My home has found us. Who sent that thing? That is a whole lot of uh, symbiote nonsense. That, it looks like they're going for a full proper blowout on this one. I'm here for it. My creator. Of course. Wait a minute. Are we doing Null? Are we doing Null, the god of the symbiotes? That's that's a choice. I, I Honestly, I only know a little bit about him. He was introduced in the comics after I stopped reading. But I do know a little. Interesting. They better have some version of him because... That line alone is going to drive fans bonkers. The symbiotes didn't come here by accident. They were running. From what? That looks like a that looks like a throne. That looks like a throne. I think we're getting null. That's null with a K. Because of course. He, he was created after the 90s, so it, it was passe to do the Y for an I thing. So they had to find out some other weird way to spell it. Does anyone who wasn't reading comics in the 90s even appreciate that, that that joke or that reference? Was that a joke? That was a reference. I'm still getting used to doing it this way. Bear with me. Oh! No. Called it! <laughs> I mean, it was kind of obvious, but I don't know. Let me let me let me have my joy. Let me get let me get my pleasure where I can. Okay, don't deny me that. <laughs> oh! I forgot about him. I for I forgot that the that the that the freaking detective. From the previous one, got uh, got hit with a symbiote. Oh crap! Which one is he? Is he the one who becomes anti-venom? 
Or is he one of the other ones? Again, like so much happened after I stopped really paying attention. What are we doing? We need a disguise. Hey, man. Ugh. Whoa! Okay. Why'd you keep knocking people out? What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. <laughs> He's not sorry. This world can't survive if you stay together. I love that they are continued to lean into the platonic buddy energy of these two. Like giving us flashbacks to them on the beach. And, oh, <laughs> this makes me happy. Ooh, ow. But I need him. Yes, you do. All right. I did see a trailer before because I seen the Venom horse. And I love the Venom horse. Like, this is the absurdity that I'm here for. Ah, uh, the idea of a Venom movie, much less a series of Venom movies without Spider-Man is absurd. The least you can do is give me something absurd to match just the fact that these movies shouldn't exist. This, this is what I'm here for. Yes. Bad people. He was just biting down the line. There comes a time in every man's life where you have to make a sacrifice. Eddie, I'm with you to the end. Yes! Ah, oh, that grin! Oh, he looks so happy! <laughs> No, this is all the money that we have. Oh. What is this feeling? It's like this feeling? Ah, it's like all of my problems have gone away. No. Oh! I think you broke my foot. Eric, I need more money. Oh no, Venom! Ah! Okay, that's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun, and I don't, I don't think it's going to be a great movie. The other ones weren't great movies, but damn it, they were fun movies. And that's that's what I am here for. I want the fun. These bring fun. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that that puts a smile on my face. I'm going to I'm going to try and get to the theater out to to see this one. Uh, I think when these are over, I think as time goes on, I do honestly think that once the once the full and proper bubble bursts, on uh, superhero movies. Like, they'll never go away completely, but, like, they stop pouring massive amounts of money into these interconnected worlds. And, like, time and memory whittles down the glut of uh, superhero-related movies just down to a smaller number of either really good things or real unique things. And I think Venom's... The trilogy of Venom movies is going to be remembered on that basis. Not because it was the best that was out there, but there's nothing else quite like it. Nothing else has captured successfully what Venom has been able to capture. And that alone is going to be worth remembering. It's going to be remembered. It, it, these are going to be cult classic movies. These are going to be remembered in the same breath as stuff like Return of the Living Dead. You know, not the top tier of horror movies or even zombie movies in terms of like the depth of meaning and like true greatness, but like, wow, that's fun. Holy crap, that's fun. Don't let that one fade into memory. I feel like the Venom movies are gonna have that same kind of legacy ultimately amongst the superhero genre. But what did you think of this trailer? Whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Patre Patreon. <laughs> I'm not sitting in my normal setup, so I forget where I'm pointing. Patreon pays the bills and enables me to do this as my living. Even if you can't help me out that way, like a share, a subscribe. They all help me out as well. Don't worry too much about it, though. We take a relaxed attitude around here, so you can just come on back next time you need a break. And now to thank my highest supporting patrons. Robin Moore, Zubin Lutfula, Goddess Elida, Welsh Wrestling Geeks, Oliver B., 
Melinda Patterson, Tarak, the thing that goes doink in the anime, Gene Foray, Movie Turtle, Ulrich Bogdan, Loki Eris, Melinda Walters, Auntie Kate 808, Becky Sparks, Frenobulax the Poodle, Tracy Scrabbit, Angry Casperl, Dave Hall, Quite Bearish, Rosalind Bennett, Adam R. D. L. Taylor, Pal Baraba Joggle, Mira G, and Sir Didymus is my favorite. If you're wondering about this little guy, um, this is Nymph. He's new. Don't worry, the other two are fine. He's just not fully socialized with them yet. You'll see them all together soon. Won't they? I say what? Well,